European chemical industry is still one of a few world competitive manufacturing sectors in Europe. One of a few we have. Uh, uh, per employee, uh, the value added is the highest in, in all manufacturing sectors and we have been adapting to globalization uh, to the optimum. Um, so we are still competitive. Um, but we are losing market share in a fast-growing world market. In the last 10 years, we went down from over 30% share down to, to, to 18. And the trend will continue because our regions grow faster, especially emerging economies, uh, emerging Asia. So the growth is outside Europe. Um, we feedstock. The feedstock advantages are out, outside Europe as well. The Middle East is advantaged as, con as concerns feedstock, petrochemicals, gas, which account for the majority of the chemical industry's feedstock. But recently as well, the, the shale gas boom in the United States has put the United States on a similar footing as, 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 as the Middle East. Uh, Europe does not have uh, those resources yet. We hope that they go for exploration of shale gas as well. Um, and uh, on the other hand, uh, Europe and the European chemical industry has always uh, been changing with the demand of society. And uh, our future is innovation in producing the goods which a sustainable society wants. And uh, this is where our companies are researching. And they will, they will manufacturing, manufacture the goods. Uh, what, what are our, advantage here? Uh, our advantages here? It's the good infrastructure uh, on the research side, is the interlinkage within the chemical industry, the so-called Verbund, but it's as well the integration with the value chains downstream. So nowhere in the world are the manufacturing sectors so closely integrated with regard to production and with regard to innovation. We have skilled people, we have an excellent research um, and innovation landscape uh, that uh, could still be further improved, but this is our strength and uh, this is our only chance as well to, to build on the innovative capability of our people and to make the new products uh, asked by the society of, of tomorrow. Policy asks, um, we would love to see uh, Europe and the member states when designing policies, uh, what is happening outside Europe as well, because it has an impact on the competitiveness of companies operating in Europe. And a big the biggest policy ask at this stage would be uh, to develop a European energy market which provides competitive energy for European headquarters and operating companies um, in order to make sure energy-intensive goods continue to be produced in Europe.